So there's several considerations that we need to evaluate before diving into the GDSM pool. So the first one is data readiness. What's the state of your data? Are your product records complete and accurate? Do you know where to find a complete record for your products? So what we often find is that organization's data is not as clean or as complete as you think it might be. It's really critical to ensure that you have a complete and accurate product data in dedicated centralized platforms. Um, and this also applies to keeping product records to the same quality rules. It becomes easier to manipulate when syndicating through to GDSN attributes. The next thing to think about is partner readiness. Leverage your existing partnerships to plan together. It's important to communicate with Salsify if you're using Salsify, your vendors um, and service providers like ICP um, and as well as key retailers what's coming up. Have you planned for the impacts on these teams? Do you have a change management plan or strategy? That's sometimes something somebody, some people forget about. Have you communicated it to everybody who, who this will impact? Um, and perhaps most importantly, do we understand how to operationalize to ensure a smooth transition? The next part, team readiness. Do you know how your teams are operating today? What pools are they currently using? Do your internal teams have an appetite to make change? And then finally, market readiness. So it's important to note, no two markets interpret GS1 the same. Which markets already have GDSN capabilities? Do you have any markets where you're already using a GDSN provider? And if not, begin by assessing a few markets that are low, medium and high complexity just to get a baseline of required effort for implementation.